We knew when Andrew Luck and RG3 went 1-2 in April's draft that they would be compared to each other throughout their careers. And while we're going to continue the debate right now, who's going to be Offensive Rookie of the Year? And that's where you helped us in this week's Voice of the Fan. And Arthur Arkish is here with me to break down the results. And Arthur, it was a whopping result. Andrew Luck, 76% of the vote. You said he's going to be Rookie of the Year. RG3, 24%. Even though Griffin definitely has the better stats going through the first couple of weeks of the season. But I think, Arthur, fresh in the minds of our viewers and our voters, the injury to RG3 on Sunday. Yeah, I think the last thing that our the voters you know have in their heads is RG3 getting nearly decapitated, obviously, and getting concussed in that game, of course. And then there was Andrew Luck's miraculous fourth quarter comeback, really the second half comeback against the Packers. So uh, the combination of those two things, I think, sort of outweighed the actual numbers. While both players have been incredibly impressive, obviously RG3 has a much higher passer rating. He's been a lot more accurate, and he's been able to cut down on the turnovers more. So. Um, like I said, I think this is really a, a topical, timely thing, and that's why Luck has such an overwhelming response here. You know, when you talk Rookie of the Year, you're going to talk about wins and all that and in a player's performance, but you're going to look at the statistics. Let's be honest. Stats are a big you know, indicator of who's going to win Rookie of the Year, and RG3 with his ability to run the football. I mean, you talk about his rushing yards, 241, four rushing touchdowns on the year. I mean, Andrew Luck, he can run the football. I mean, he's mobile, but he's not going to match that. So obviously Luck's going to have to put up better passing totals and have his Colts win more games if he's going to beat RG3, assuming they continue on the paths they're on. I agree, but I'll tell you, I think RG3's athleticism is actually a blessing and a curse. We saw it was his inability to get out of bounds or be able to know when to slide that got him into big trouble. If that continues, he's going to continue to get into big trouble. He just doesn't have the body type to be able to withstand that type of abuse. You hit on Luck's sneaky athleticism. We saw it on that last Last fourth quarter drive, he was able to scramble on third and seven and pick up a critical fourth down, uh, excuse me, a first down conversion. So they both have uh, the ability to create outside the pocket, but obviously Griffin is far superior in that respect. I think one bright spot about both these players is there was so much hype around them and they've performed admirably so far. I mean, there hasn't been a Ryan Leaf yet among these two players. And you look at the rookie of the year conversation on the offensive side of the ball, you have Alfred Morris, Robert Griffin's teammate. You look at Trent Richardson, Doug Martin, but none of these guys are at the level of Luck and Robert Griffin. I mean, think, obviously a lot can happen. We have a long way to go the rest of the season, but we had predicted it would be these two going down the line. It still is going to be these two. So Arthur, I'm going to put you on the spot right now. The voters think it's going to be Luck by a wide margin. Do you think at the end of the year it's going to be Andrew Luck? I do think it's going to be luck, and I'll tell you why. We got into it a little bit. We talked about uh, you know, Griffin's inability to, to stay on the field, at least what we started to see in week five. What else concerns me a little bit about Griffin is I think, or I should maybe say more so luck, is I think they rely on his, his arms so much more. He's averaging over 42 passes a game. He doesn't have a good offensive line either, and he also is going to get killed if they keep it up at that rate. But I think when you look at the Redskins, they have a little bit more they can do on the ground. I don't think they have to lean as heavily on Griffin. So I think that might lend to luck continuing to put up some bigger numbers. Oh, yeah, there's also Reggie Wayne, who is playing out of his mind right now. RG3 doesn't have a Reggie Wayne at his disposal. Yeah, if Wayne gets 200 receiving yards every game, I think Luck's <laughs> going to put up astronomical numbers right. and definitely win Rookie of the Year. But it should be fun to watch the rest of the season. What do you think? Do you agree that Andrew Luck at this point should be considered the leader for Offensive Rookie of the Year? Let us know in the comments and head to our website at ProFootballWeekly.com.